But I contacted his publisher, or his boss, I should say, to get some more information. His boss was very kind, gave me his number, and told me how I could reach him, and that he is an exceptionally talented musician and a hell of a nice guy. Yes. <laughs> Brian Belmatius. Because as I said, I, I've never taught publicly. 
Um, I've taught some at the university level, but I've never taught public school the way you all have. Um, and I've never gotten to experience the highs and the lows, and the buses, and all those great things <laughs> that you all have experienced. Um, Fortunately, Neil didn't invite me onto the activity bus on the way over yesterday. Thank you for that. And, um, but one of the things that I have gotten a chance to experience is, is the reaction of young musicians after doing a concert, after playing. And, and it makes me remember one story in particular uh, about a, a performance that I did in Virginia. And it was actually for a student uh, who had passed away. And we, we were playing and um, that performance went very, very, very well, and it was just kind of, we had done that and it was fine. And then we got to the next night and we did another performance. And this performance actually didn't involve that music at all. It involved a piece that I had written uh, for my grandfather, who was my first grandparent that I had ever lost. And we performed that piece, and I thought it went incredible. I really did. Uh, I thought it went very, very well. And after the concert, a flute player came up to me. And she was kind of shaking a little bit, and she said, I, I am so sorry. I, I said, why are, you, why are you so sorry? She said, I didn't play at the end of it. I, I missed the last part. I said, That's a, it's okay. And her name is Tiffany. I said, Tiffany, it's okay. We, it, it's not about the mistakes that you make. It's about the, the mutual effect that you have on the audience. And the audience was dead silent. They, they, they were stunned. I said, that's the point. She said, no, 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 I didn't miscount because I started crying. <laughs> during the piece. And that had such an impact on me. And then fast forward three years later, she was a junior in college. And one of the things that they were asked to do was to write about a defining musical moment in your life. She emailed me through my website, the paper that she wrote. And in that paper, she said, up until that night, I had always been a flute player. But after that performance was the first day that I became a musician. And so that's the reason that I do it. I know it's the reason that all of you do it as well. Um, and, I, and I can't tell you how much this really does mean to me to join the ranks of, of, of so many incredibly talented people. Um, I can tell you that in my mind, I still have a lot of work to do to truly earn this truly earn it and live up to the expectations of this organization and the people that have preceded me, but I can promise you that I will do everything in my power to make sure that I continue to earn this and deserve it more every day. So thank you all so much for this very much. Thank you.